nice brisk day here in New Brunswick, Canada, and Inventables has asked me to come up with a car toy rattle. So, stay tuned. I'll show you how to make it if you have an X car of yourself. If not, I'll bring you through the process just so you can see how it's done. So how do we make that happen is the question. Well here we're in Easel. Uh, it's directly off the Inventables webpage, easel.inventables.com. And if you go, to, if you're at my project on the Inventables webpage, which is the very first link down below in the show notes, even if you're going to use the default setup, you're going to want to watch the following because it'll show you all the settings and where and why they're there. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete everything that's in here. We're going to go to File, Import SVG, and choose our file. In this case, it's called Toy Car Rattle version 2. I generally will set my depth of a piece to say 0.75, but I'll set all the depths to the actual depth I want, which is half an inch in this case. And what that's going to do is I don't need tabs, and then I'll resaw it out afterwards. With that said, I'm just going to grab everything. And like I showed you, I've now set the depth to everything to 0.5. What I'll do is I'll first grab all my objects by holding shift and clicking those objects when you get the move option. So I'm going to click each one individually, holding down shift so they all select. You can do these individually too, there's no need. And we're going to use the fill option. Uh, now, what that will do, put a hole right through all these, half an inch wide. Now for these cavities here, we don't want them all the way down because those are just to hold the kernels and we don't want actual holes through our rattle. So we're going to move that to a 0.25 inch deep, which is a quarter inch deep on each side, which gives us a full half inch to play with. At that point, what we're going to want to do is grab all our outer lines, basically all the outlines that we see that are left, and we're going to set those up to outline outside and that way we get the actual depths that we want or the actual sizes that we want from the inside line of the curve. I'm going to move this wheel just a little bit just so that it's off of and this wheel and that all this all I'm doing here is I'm just trying to prevent any overlap. We want to check our bit size to make sure that's correct at one one eighth inch unless you, you want to use a different and you're customizing then all the power to you. For cut settings, we're going to want to go, in your in, in the case generally, if you, as long as you have the DeWalt DWP611 or a good router on your X-Curve, um, you can go 45 inches per minute or higher. I haven't tested higher than this yet. Uh, this is where I'm at. If you have the original stock, I would recommend going to 37 inches a minute or even pushing it at 40 maybe. And I would change my depth per pass. But that's all optional and your own testing. In this case, with the DeWalt on my X-Curve, I will push it to 45 inches a minute and my depth per pass at 0 0.07. And that's that. So now you have all the settings and everything and you should be able to understand why this is work why why the settings are what they are. Um, so set your parts appropriate and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or get a hold of me on Facebook. Okay, so to get our actual depth, what we're going to do is put our caliper in, move it down, pull it out, and there's our depth. So we'll set our blade to that thickness. Just lock it in place here so that it doesn't move on me if I bump it. 
Okay, I'll use my board as a resting spot. I'm just going to tee in my fence. I'm just going to go a hair smaller. And that's just for any little deflection I might get. Alright, so let's make the cut. You can see here I have my two car halves now. So I can take the top off, and it leaves me a cool template too, for something. Um, and there's my two car halves. Because the wheels are the same depth, I'm just going to go ahead and put them on, on with the same setting as the cars. Now that we have the baby rattle car all cut out, what we're going to do now is cut ourselves a couple half inch dowels, that are about three inches long each. Lay out all your parts, get yourself a drill, and you're going to need a little bit of popcorn. Not popped. First thing we'll do if you take a look here, is we'll grab the dowel, and we'll open up the jaws, just enough to fit the dowel in, and then tighten in on it. Take my roll of 150 grit sandpaper, take a little bit off, and we'll just sand this down. Test fit the dowel, it should fit snug but tight. Okay, we can see it's nice and loose now. So we'll go ahead and do that with the the other dowel. If there's any burrs in here, we're just gonna break them out with some 150 grit sandpaper. You're never gonna see on the inside anyway, but it's best to clean it up. Now you're going to want to sand the surfaces down a little bit and clean things up. Alright, once everything's nicely sanded, we'll go ahead and um, put our kernels in. Just got a small amount of kernels. Just enough to barely fill the bottom. So I want to fill one bottom, but leave a little bit of space in there. So I don't want to have too many kernels. You can always put it together and test it. Make sure it's got the rattle that you want. And then what we'll do is we'll take our dowels here. Put the kernels in when you're done so you don't get glue on them. I don't know how they'd stick to the wood. Yeah, I'm gonna use some fresh kernels just to make sure there's no glue on them. Now the point here isn't to make sure the wheels stay in, the point is to make sure this aligns properly. So we'll go ahead and just clamp that now. So I got the two dowels in just as pins to make sure they're aligned. To make sure they don't glue together, I just took them out. We'll let that dry. This is a maple body and walnut wheels uh, again it's got the rattle and uh, I like how this one turned out this is the one that I actually cut on the video so I just cut the ends of the excess dowel off and glued the other wheels on um, sanded the body and everything up to 320 and then applied some beeswax and mineral oil uh, mix as a finish so this can go in mouths no problem at all so 
So not only can you drive this car, but it's also a rattle.